Um, and he said that he has some ideas, ¿no? No, si no me ibas a traducir. Le he dicho, he dicho que, que, que yo le veo al, al, al sistema algo que es que no es una de, de quitar dinero del sistema, porque estás creando, creando, creando. Ah, no, sí, existe. Claro, eh, aún estamos avanzando y definiendo bien, pero mi idea, esto no, no lo hemos aún aprobado en asamblea, pero mi idea es que cuando uno puede trabajar mucho y tener muchas turutas, porque ha trabajado mucho y las tiene en el fondo cooperativo, quizás cuando sea mayor las necesitará, para pagar ayudas suyas y tal, pero cuando se muera no uh, nadie las hereda. O sea, es un fondo, en, en este momento se, ex, se extiende la, la moneda. Okay. Se extingue. Okay. So, uh, he says that when uh, the cooperative uh, fund, um, um, so people can put money in the cooperative fund and uh, when they, uh, they are deceased, they, nobody can inherit. The turutas. So that's the way they are envisioning how to destroy money in the system. That when the farm uh, produces, they sell it with the turuta, so there's another way from disappearing the money. So, yeah. Dice que cuando también los huertos venden los, sí. uh, los brutos, das, es otra forma sí. de reducir el negativo sí. y el positivo. Sí. So another way of compensating is uh, when the produce of, uh, of this, uh, these gardens uh, is sold in turutas, the positive balances are reduced and the negative balances too. So it's a, it's a way to destroy money too. Okay, um, so, uh, so the in, in to put it together, it's like, um, I mean, for my from my point of view, what uh, Jens uh, showed is a way of uh, of getting the of of uh, cr building the commons with a currency. For me, it's the same. I mean, it's, the, it's very similar. The the, pr the systems, uh, the Turuta uh, has a different way of redeeming. Uh, your model has a way of redeeming that is uh, paying the fees every month. So the, uh, here, there's no fees. But there is the payment of the produce. It's like in the community, there is a payment to leave your kids in the in the kindergarten. So, uh, so you can also mm, redeem the money that way. So, yeah, similar, no? <laughs> Any questions? Any comments? Um, I think it's it could uh, it could uh, what we saw now in the afternoon. Um, in one way, we have a possibility of increasing value of the currency, but in another way, it could be also like yesterday we saw with the Japanese uh, economy, they had different circles for the different tasks. So it's actually quite a way to help people to support that what is done in the community. Dice que, bueno, que es una forma de crear una moneda que apoya lo que se hace en la comunidad. Sí, los tres sistemas son realmente absolutamente uh, paralelos. Y creo que la principal feature es que hay una uh, comunidad que va a ir a depth o <laughs> crediting all, all the rest. And then the second feature is the clearing, which we have here in uh, Guifinet very clearly. Zero, zero every uh, time in the system, in the district currency system, we also try to clear it every time. And in the Turuta, there is a d is more buffer, yes. Uh, but it's always uh, that the that the yeah that the, the the depth is on the community and not on the individual, and that's uh, uh, somehow a nice uh, feature. Thank you. Just <laughs> eh, dice que, eh, que el, para él lo bueno es que el, es una forma de que la comunidad eh, proporcione la deuda a, la, a los ciudadanos. Es decir, que el que se endeuda es la comunidad y no el ciudadano. Y que le parece que eso es una fórmula interesante. Eh. 
lo llamamos sistema de crédito mutuo cooperativo. So, yeah, they call it a mutual credit system, mutual cooperative credit system. Thank you. The obvious question and the position of the advocate of the devil um, with both systems is how, if the community is prepared to go into debt, how does the community protect itself against uh, bad or selfish people who, for whatever reason, um, exploit the community's generosity? Do you, one, ignore them till they go away, they get bored and go away, Two, do you take sanctions? Three, do nothing. Dice que como, que si, que si la comunidad tiene, tiene la, si la comunidad tiene, eh, se, es la que se endeuda, ¿cómo se protege la comunidad de personas de los, de los uh, caraduras que se aprovechan de todo? No nos ha pasado nunca. En seis años... Lo, es muy, lo, la gente que entra eh, son gente eh, ya con una, sí, con, un, con algo, ya algo les hace que entren y que se generan buenas sinergias. En todo caso ha habido algunos errores que se han corregido, pero como alguien podría estafar a la comunidad, pero tampoco, no, no, no ha pasado y detectaríamos esta persona porque lo que entra en un sitio sale del otro. He says that it's never happened um, and they would notice uh, quickly if somebody does it because uh, whatever quantity comes from a pocket has to go into another pocket so it will be shown in the in the, in the software and uh, and that uh, well they say they recognize they've made some mistakes but uh, but normally the people who join this system is quite conscious i wanted to uh, before giving the word to anybody else i want to make a comment by myself not translating anyone digo que antes de que alguien coja la palabra voy a hacer un comentario por mí misma para mí estamos ahora en lo que se está llamando la era de la abundancia he escrito un artículo en el cual hablo de ello, en la era de la abundancia y sus condicionantes. Estamos desmarcantilizando las, eh, muchos productos. Eh, es muy difícil ya cobrar por una enciclopedia, porque las enciclopedias no se pagan ya, porque hay un producto que se llama Wikipedia y que no se puede cobrar. Entonces, en este contexto, eh, vamos a tener cada vez una economía más pequeña, porque si ya no, puedes pagar por la, ya no tiene sentido pagar por una enciclopedia... Eh, pero, ¿sabes? La economía se queda sin ese producto, ¿no? Entonces es más pequeña. Entonces vas a tener algunos productos que se van a ir desapareciendo y, y eso significa que también va a haber menos base para cargar impuestos y, sin embargo, cada vez más necesidad para eh, tener productos públicos, como una enciclopedia tipo Wikipedia. Entonces, eh, la financiación de los comunes, para mí es esencial este tipo de mecanismos. So, what I'm saying is that uh, for me, the, um, I have just written an article called The, uh, uh, the, abundance, the Time of Abundance and Its Conditions. Uh, and, this, and its conditions. And, I, and, for me, and what I mean by this is that we are in a time in which uh, we are the commodification of the economy. We are the commodifying the economy. So, we have more and more products and services that you cannot charge for. Like, a, like an encyclopedia. Nobody buys an encyclopedia anymore because there's Wikipedia. But you, got, you have to fin finance Wikipedia. So the fact that there's less and less products that you can, you can sell means that your economic systems in this way is, going, is, is, is getting sl smaller and smaller in this, in this kind of uh, products. So, and on the other hand, you have more and more products that need to be built for the public, as a public service. They can't be a product anymore, and they need to be a, a public service, like Wikipedia. So, for me, it is crucial to have a way to finance the commons, because if you have a, an economy that is smaller and smaller, your ta taxable base is going to be smaller and smaller, your income 
your tax income is going to be smaller and smaller, <laughs> and you're going to be able to finance public goods and services less and less. So you need to complement. You're going to need and more and more to complement with this kind of uh, devices um, the the provision of public goods and services, in my view. So. No, no. <laughs> so I just wanted to say about the the issue of of individuals exploiting, and you know I I don't know much or anything about your your um, your experience and and your community, but I'm I'm worried about the response that it's never happened and we know each other and we can we can watch e we can see what each other is doing. Um, I worry about the the scale effect. You know that you will be if you if you get larger, um, then this this becomes a problem. You can be a victim of your own success. Um, y, y yo 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 puedo de decirlo rap rapidamente que es posible ser víctima de su de su propio éxito. Um, ten, ten, tengo miedo de ese que Que, que dije usted que conocemos a todos y ese, ese nunca, nunca ha pasado. Con, conocemos toda la, la, toda la gente y ese nunca ha pasado. ¿Y qué que, que va a pasar cuando es más grande esta este red de personas? Yo, yo creo que tengo que pensar cuidadosamente de las incentivas de honestidad en estas redes. Por, por este motivo no creemos que sea bueno que crezca mucho este árbol, porque es muy importante las relaciones de conocimiento, de confianza y sobre todo de participación. Si hacemos una asamblea que pueda participar cuanta mayor gente mejor. Y además los números, la, la, los, toda la información es visible, es, está abierta a todos los socios. So he says that that's the reason why they don't want to grow in one in one on one group. They want to make different uh, br uh, trees, as they say, because each tree needs to have it, its own governance, its own goals, its own uh, communication, and uh, because they need to know each other. In the case of Infinet, we want to scale definitely, and we are up to a size that we do not eat each other anymore. And the answer to your question is the combination of at least the three options you said. First, I agree, I completely agree, that if you give uh, things for free or in the open projects, you attract those people that has been banned, banned from private initiatives. Okay, it's like a sort of hold, a pole of attraction. But communication and teaching is a very effective tool, and especially if you look your peers, how they behave. This is the first measure, then you have the other measure, like reactions. So uh, one is to let them do, the trolls or the free riders, let them do. They will get tired sooner or later. But then you also have the sanction system. So if the story goes too far away, uh, too far, then you have the sanctioning system and you can even kick them out because we have a license that you accept when you ent you get into the community and it, the license says that you cannot abuse the commons. So, and this is a um, uh, law enforceable license. So we can even bring them to court. Uh, lo que ha dicho es que eh, puede, o sea, se puede, se puede uh, llevar a juicio y que, o sea, vamos, que ellos tienen un sistema de sanción. O sí, sigui, el que he dit bàsicament és que és una combinació... No, ho farem català. Això ho tinc claríssim. O sigui, sigui que <laughs> al final traduzco. <laughs> no, però si és que hi ha gent que no és catalana, que no entienden. Hi ha gent de Sudamèrica. That's 
No, no, no. I don't want to say it anymore. No, no. Honestly speaking, it's another, it's another, it's another. But it's the same fight. Bueno, es que es que si no 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 nos enteran los que. Ok, uh, no, lo que decía era que por eso tienen ellos el sistema de, de sanción en el cual pues eh, penalizan a aquellos que abusan de los comunes y que incluso les, en, lo dice en el contrato y que incluso les pueden llevar a juicio. El contrato que firman los que los que empiezan a trabajar con wifi. Uh -huh. También en los estatutos consta que si alguien lo podríamos sancionar, pero bueno, es que no ha pasado. Lo que tenemos en el mundo, una, una especie de infección global de ADN competitivo, agresivo, de mal rollo, y eh, creamos unos espacios colaborativos donde la gente quiere vivir, y quiere, hay un respeto, o sea, fomentamos el respeto mutuo. Entonces, difícilmente creo que esto pueda pasar. Sí, seguro que pasará porque eh, llevamos toda una carga de ADN competitivo, pero vamos aprendiendo a mejorar esto. Yo creo que es la ventaja de estos pequeños eh, espacios. Quería decir también que otro de los referentes eh, en nuestro proyecto es, no sé si conocéis, Pete Seeger, el cantante de folk americano que ya murió en noven, con 94 años, eh, hace unos años, de, un gran visionario, decía, si el mundo tiene futuro no será debido a una gran organización, sino a millones y millones de pequeñas comunidades que interactúan. La participación es lo que salvará a la raza humana. Yo me lo creo y estamos trabajando en crear este pequeño proyecto. So he says that they could do the same, but they don't want to because for now uh, they just uh, l create a collaboration environment where people can live and be happy and uh, they, they don't expect uh, anything uh, bad to happen to the community because the, the environment is good. But of course something bad can happen and there could be abuse because we have the DNA of abusing and <laughs> uh, and, uh, and behaving improperly. And uh, also he says that one of the inspiration of his project is Peter Seeger, Pete Seeger, uh, this folk American uh, singer, uh, who says that uh, if the world changes, it won't be because one big organization is, uh, is going to be a, a change, it's going to make a change, but because very a lot of little organizations, uh, citizens, are going to make uh, small little changes everywhere. I would like to make a comment on competition and collaboration, and I w would like to use a slide that I used. And I have also a comment. Put languages here as well. Keep them. They are a very valuable asset for humanity. Definitely. Yeah, and this is what the. Uh, yeah. Here is our vision or what we are implementing. So, in the lower level layers, we, we are collaborating. We leave the high, the highest layer, the, the services for competition. So ISPs here compete theoretically among each other in our ecosystem. What we are teaching them is not that it, this doesn't mean that they have to compete among each other. So this meaning stalling customers from each other, but to expand the network to other domains. So in the meantime that we are coexisting because it's a complementary issue. We are not to, trying to replace anything. It's better to, in, uh, to focus efforts in expansion, expand, expanding the commons rather than fighting for inside the commons itself. Does it make sense? Or? Dice que en este en este ejemplo, eh, bueno, en este en este gráfico donde explica cómo trabajan ellos, tienen eh, la, la infraestructura debajo que es el, los comunes, lo, la parte azul, y luego tienen la, la digamos la, la, la capa de servicio que es comunitaria, pero también, tam, también es empresa privada. Entonces lo que ellos tratan de acordar con la gente que distribuye wifi net y da servicio de wifi net es que in, en vez de pelearse entre ellos en el mismo territorio que expandan a otros territorios para que no tengan que pelear. Y 
ya vamos cerrando, ¿ok? We, we close. Surely. <laughs> yeah. Admiration for this kind of project. I didn't understand one, one thing only. Uh, how that uh, entity is organized as a public, private, or corporate that issuing the money, first step in the process. And um, how the property rights are regulated according to the current economic rules. Pregunta, primero, ¿con qué forma jurídica se crea la, en un primer momento el, el, el emisor monetario? Y en segundo lugar, ¿cómo se protegen los derechos de propiedad? Uh, de hecho, es, un, es como los bancos del tiempo. De hecho, es un sistema de colaboración mutua. Y, y, bueno, ah, ¿Es una? Ah, sí. Las, todo es una asociación. Forma jurídica, una asociación legalmente constituida. Eh, entonces, eh, también eh, todo el trabajo es trabajo voluntario, compensado. O sea, de hecho, no pagamos, nadie paga compensamos con turutas, o sea, de una hora lo llamamos diez turutas. Por tanto, es tiempo. Okay, uh, he says that it's uh, an association and that uh, uh, all the payments are not real payments, are not wages, uh, are um, are uh, compensations, and they uh, just. Uh, añadir que en España de momento no están legalizadas las monedas locales, sociales, pero tampoco no son ni legales ni ilegales. Estamos en un marco de alegalidad, donde una forma que hemos eh, construido muchas de nosotras es buscar un marco propio legal, que es el de una asociación, que tienes todo controlado y que el intercambio entre tus socios está permitido. Uh, she says that uh, the legal environment is uh, is okay for what they do. It is it's not regulated specifically, but it's not profi prohibited. So it's like um, it's a vacuum uh, there that uh, they can do what they want. Uh, but the legal rights, the legal, uh, the, the the property rights about what what That's kind of the. Los derechos de propiedad. Ah. Ah, you mean the you mean the gardens? The project, the Ah, what you what you finance? Uh, for instance the 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 gardens. The result is the for instance the bananas uh, <laughs> whatever they produce, you mean? It belongs to the association and then it's sold. And it's, not like it's, uh, it's it's just it just compensates the negative. It's negative when they sell, they they cash in and they they compensate positive uh, balances with negative balances. Is something kind of like a crowdfunding, like project financing. This is a crowdfunding, actually. Um. <laughs> I just wanted to say that um, the, the, the current situation is that uh, the, the, neo, the neoclassical economists are very confused about what money is. They don't actually understand what money is. Uh, so that opens an opportunity for uh, initiatives like this, which the government is not regulating because they don't realize that it's actually money. <laughs> <laughs> Ha dicho que, que los, neo, los economistas neoclásicos están muy confundidos respecto al dinero porque no saben lo que es el dinero y dice que este tipo de proyectos tienen una gran oportunidad porque nadie se da cuenta de que esto en realidad es dinero. Yo digo que la, la economía tiene que ser para tontos, yo el primero, porque todos la usamos, por tanto todos la debemos entender, tiene que ser muy fácil, tanto entra aquí, tanto sale allí. So he says that the economy must be for 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 for, for dummies. <laughs> economy for dummies. Everybody must understand because everybody uses it, and uh, and uh, and uh, of course uh, somebody comes here, something comes in, and something goes out, and uh, it has to be all very clear. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>